feet are very dry, very hard. Makes for a really tough trimming job. One of my biggest pet peeves is when we uh, film one of these videos of these overgrown horses and people say things like, you can't take that all off at once. I just wanna show something real quick and, and kind of give you reasons why we can. First off, all this curved growth right now is only giving this horse more leverage and more difficulty breaking over. It's not gonna hurt this horse at all to take all of this off. The other thing on the bottom of this hook, this is all heel growth. Now this horse is already standing where he wants to stand, but the problem is, is that he's standing on a round surface. I like to think of it as, uh, imagine how you would feel if you were standing on a softball all day and you couldn't really ever get it on a flat surface, your weight was always shifting. The thing that is going to give this horse the most tendon relief is taking all of the distortion off in one go. Will he be sore? Maybe a little bit, but he's going to, re he's, he's going to be way better off standing on a good flat surface on a well-shaped hoof than with something like this. So we're going to go ahead and get after it and get these feet looking as normal as possible. Okay, so my goal is to have a pretty straight line from hairline to the ground, probably need to take it back a little bit more. But this horse hasn't been standing very good for me. The reason is because he's very uncomfortable. Well, you'll notice now he's bearing weight on that nice foot over there. 
he's able to stand flat and he's standing pretty dang good it's amazing if you just can get after these feet and get them anatomically correct they'll stand better for you when you're trying to trim or shoe them all overgrown soul and frog. asked all the time by uh, other farriers and trimmers you know uh, how do you know how much to take off and uh, the best thing the best way I can explain it to someone is you want to take off everything that doesn't look like a hook and you want to keep taking that off until it resembles a hook and usually if you keep going until it looks like a hook you're usually going to be anatomically correct for that horse your coffin bone is going to be lined up with your pastern. Your tendons will be relieved. Now I know there's still a little bit more we can take here and there, but this horse is standing a lot more comfortable. And the uh, my goal the whole time was just to keep taking stuff away until it resembled a normal hook. And like I said, you can take x-rays on these normal looking hooks and they are usually anatomically correct for that horse. Ha, 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 ha. 